place is fucking starting to drive me crazy. This is the Joe Schmo Show. As Matt is locked in his bedroom, sharing his thoughts in his daily interview, the cast secretly sneaks away and meets with the director to plot out the day. This just keeps getting better. Hudge is getting thrown off. I thought it worked so well. It's all about maintaining, because what we've got now is gold. We had a lot of situations yesterday when producers come up to you guys, talk to you, sometimes in, uh, Ashley, what are you doing? You know, and sometimes to give you a, a secret, just stay in character for those conversations. So today, Molly is going to confide in Matt. Are Ralph and I still flirting with each other when he comes in? Yeah. Any other questions? Are we still going to play that Molly talks behind my back? Yes. OK. Good. You guys are doing great. Strawberries and champagne, I think, can be very sexy. That's nice. Um, on the body or just kind of dip the strawberry and do that whole routine? I think you go out on the veranda. A good chill out. What's hey. Up? Afternoon, team. Good morning. Good morning. How's everybody doing? Good. Hi. I got a few things to tell you today. Mm -hmm. Today's a very special day here in the lap of luxury. It's double trouble day, which means two things. The good news is that today, two people will be gaining immunity. The bad news is two housemates will be evicted. Also, I have some news. I received this that I need to read to you. To Ralph Garman from the Lap of Luxury Legal Department regarding Steve Hutchinson's eviction from Lap of Luxury. Mr. Garman, please convey the following decision to the Lap of Luxury participants. We have reviewed the tapes and have determined that the conduct in question fails to establish prima facie case of assault, nor does it constitute a material breach of contract with appropriate notice and opportunity to cure. I knew as soon as Ralph started reading it, the letter, just because I had spent a brief time at law school that I knew exactly what the letter meant. Basically, what it means is this. The hutch is back in the house. I am back, I am back, and I am not leaving. The decision made by the producers is due to legal issues that really are no point in getting into here. Hutch has been reestablished in the house and in the competition. The producers planned this letter because Matt went to law school and uh, basically said, in translation, what that means is, and that's when I ran out. Hutch is back. Hutch has legal representation, right. FYI. This, it was unfair, and it's right there in that letter. That's if you right. have we any question, you can read it. it. Welcome back. All right, cool. So that's all the news for now. Kip, dude. I'll see you guys at the next competition, OK? Bam. Hutch is back off of some technicality, and they had to like write up this, like, this perfect lawyer speak letter, so because, you know, Matt's a smarty, so he bought it. A prima facie case against someone? Well, in order to, like, you know, bring certain charges or, like, you know, like, say someone, you know, hits you or something like that, like, you need to have enough evidence that where the case, like, on its face, stand on its own. I'm all about having a good time, all right? We're all even as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, but, dude, no one's... They're not... Mm. It was a little easier with you gone, because mm. the tension, some of the tension was released. Honestly, that's true. But if you're, dude, believe me, whatever, if that was wrong, like, I don't want you out of here if you're not out of here legitimately. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yes, and that's, that was my whole beef. Yeah, like, if you're out legitimately, fine. If not, then it's not as good. You no, know what I, I mean? Agree. When Hutch, you know, came back in to lunch, I think instantly a lot of us realized that a lot of that drama and his immaturity was back. What's up? Oh, hey, oh, man. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I meant to throw it in. I'm sorry. No, I'm don't sorry, go, Kim. Come on, come on. Throw you it just threw your food at my face! I'm sorry. I you meant got, to I don't hit my face with your food! I'm sorry. Dude, that's just dumb, Hutch. You want the money, don't you? Yes. Well, then why would you do that? Like, I I'm throwing it at Brian. <laughs> The director assured me that uh, I would never have to eat anything nasty because um, I have a, a well-documented gag problem. <laughs> Today's pampering competition is a challenge for your taste buds. 
That's why we call this pampering competition a meal not quite fit for a king. Today, if everyone eats a piece of the course they're served, then each one of you will receive a 42-inch flat-screen television set. Simple enough, right? Yes. Brian, why don't we start with you? Can we have dish number one, please? Thank you. Brian, this first dish can be picked up at a Texas barbecue or on the side of the road. Feast your eyes on armadillo tails. Uh -huh. <laughs> Prepared some lovely armadillo tail for you. Look at me right now. What I want you to do, I want you to count to five. Okay. Hold your nose and suck that thing down right now. Oh. Start. Just don't even think about it. <laughs> hold it, hold it in. Get it down. Swallow that water. You did amazing. Let me see. Let me see. You got it. You did awesome. Can I get this out of here? No, we're going to leave that there, okay? It's going to make me sick. Dish number two, please. Molly, the Arctic is known for its frigid temperature. So it's no surprise that this next dish is best served cold. I present to you the ultimate high fat food, whale blubber. Okay, Molly. <laughs> Molly, it's gross, but you can do it. No problem. God made that, all right? You can do it, no problem. Close your nose and just. You don't have to eat the garnish, but you do have to eat yourself a piece of that whale blubber. Not a problem. Do what he said. It's not a problem. No, she has to eat a piece. Oh, you can eat in several bites if you want. Go, go, just chew. It's okay. It's okay. Come on, relax. Relax. Water, 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 water. Just swallow it. Just swallow it. Come on, you got it. Choke it down. Choke it. Just swallow. Come on. Pray to God. Please, Molly, go. Shut up. She got it. Wow. Very impressive. Yes. Dish number three, please. Can we skip me and come back like yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. You ready, kid? Oh <coughs> Thank you very much. Oh god. <laughs> Guys, that's not it's fine. It's yep. their delicacies. Found only on the islands of Sardinia and Corsica comes the European mouflon. It's the rarest member of the sheep family. Oh, good to know. And believe me, Kip, this dish looks as good as it tastes. Cleanse your palate with mouflon eyeballs. <laughs> Come on. Mouflon eyeballs. I see you. Come on, I just ate well. It looks butter. as good as it tastes, see? Listen. I cannot. Listen. This, guys. Listen. Calm down. Just take a second. Don't stare at them. Take some deep breaths. I want you to hold your nose and chew it as fast as you can and suck oh, down some water. Can I swallow or do I have to chew? Bite it once and swallow. Bite it in half and just put knock some, it down. Put some li lime on it or yeah, something. Yeah, salt that thing up. Take one bite, don't think about it, and it. suck that water down. <laughs> one, two, three, go. Go, chew, chew, chew. Oh. <laughs> back in, back in. It's okay, in. it's okay. Take your time now. Now you gotta chew it up a little. You gotta chew it up a little bit. I think that thing has a tumor in it, bro. Listen. Oh, come man. on, Kip, come on, Kip. <laughs> yeah. Come on, come on. Do it. God. Yeah, put the water. Good, good. Go, suck oh, it, man. swallow it. You're done. Just You're done. Swallow. It's over. That. It's over. Ah. Yeah! Oh my god, oh my god! Great job. That's great awesome. freaking yeah. job. Well done, Kip. You did a great job. Awesome. Hutch, you ready? Awesome. Yeah, Dish number four, please. Thank you. All right, Hutch. Nouveau Australian cuisine mixes native Australian foods with the Asian influences of the Pacific Rim. Say domo arigato, mate, to northern hairy-nosed wombat stomach. That's in ponzu sauce, too. Mm. Don't stare at it, Hutch. Don't Hutch, at don't it. stare don't at it. it. You got it. Cleanse the palate. Cleanse the palate, man. Come on, Hutch. Kill it, Hutch. I have to eat this whole thing. Kill, Kill it. it. Knock, knock Kill it. it down, don't Hutch. even think about it. Knock it down. Knock it down, Hutch. Knock Chew it, it down. and now water and swallow. Water, water, water and swallow. Water, water, water and water, swallow. Water, 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 water. Bucket here if you need it. Water and swallow. Water. Come on. Come on, bro. Water it up, man. Oh my God, what's your name? Swallow it down, Get that out of your right cheek. Swallow it down. You gotta get it down. Get it all down. Just swallow it. Just swallow it. Do it, dude. Do it. Just 
swallowed. You're almost there. Oh. Yeah! You're good. good yeah! Punch. Nice, man. That was awesome. What's up, Punch? Dude? Welcome back, player. Ashley, how hungry are you? Number five, please. Thank you. Well, Ashley, it takes real balls to eat this South American favorite. <laughs> Behold, the testicles of the Prince Barnard TT monkey. That's not bad at all. Oh, no. That is not bad at all. I've seen worse. A couple bites and some water. Listen, listen. Oh. Don't look at it. You've you sucked on them before, now all you have to do it. is eat them. You can fight it. You're not helping, huh? I'll kill you. Listen, Ashley, take some deep breaths. Cut it in half, chew it a little, and suck it down with water. That'll slide right down your throat, I'm telling you. You can do it. I have full confidence in you. You've been everywhere in the world. Exotic dishes. It's not that hard. We don't eat balls. Hard. Okay. It's quite common in South America. It's not that hard. I know you can do it. <laughs> if you can get, If you can cut that in half and get half of it down, I think that would count as a bite, yes. I had to eat a whole piece of whale blubber, though. But that's all right. Come on, uh, Molly. Just, I know. It has get your television. It. It's got Doesn't have foreskin no, on it. No. That's the wrong part of the monkey you're yeah, thinking of. Do it. Do it. Your water, pass it down. Let's go. Ashley. 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 Go. 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 Keep going. Keep going. Swallow it. Swallow it. Just swallow it down. Just swallow it down. Just swallow it down. Keep it in. You got it in. The worst part's over. The worst part is it's over. It's you got yes! it. Wow. Yes. yes! I, I really didn't think that was going to happen. So Thank you. He took the role of just encouraging people, you know, just get through that meal. He was all business. This is it. This is for the television, everybody. Yes. Come on, man. You know it. You can do it. The last final meal number six. Bring it on in. OK, Matt, for dessert, our world tour brings us right back to the good old US of A. You can pick this dish up pretty much on any street. In fact, in some places, they'll fine you if you don't. Enjoy this fetching plate of canine feces. No, 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 no. Oh, man. <laughs> No, 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 oh no, no, Oh, my no, no, God. No, no. You know what? No way. Fuck that, man. No. Uh -uh. <laughs> That's not right. Wait, 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 wait. Time out, time out, time out, time out, time out. That is no. Fucking no. ridiculous. We were all eating terrible, gross food, or so mad things. It was extremely difficult not to laugh, and we did laugh. I mean, we turned away from camera. We laughed in our napkins. We had to walk out of rooms. You can't do this show without breaking. Crap. Get it away. Get no, it no, away. No, 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 no. This is fucking TV ridiculous. TV show is worth this. Wait, 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 hey, wait, no, 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 wait, no, no. wait a second. Oh, no. There's no way in yeah. hell they're going to serve me real dog feces. There's no way. Pick that up. No way. I just get it is. Cold. It is real. Uh, well, it's then oh, like cold. if it's real, like this game's over. You know what? There's no <laughs> way. Is there another <laughs> no, food in there? That's ridiculous. Hold on, hold on. I saw there. I saw corn well, that's, in there. Yeah. Why do you have the producer? Wouldn't that make this? him sick? Cool. It's going no just way. like we planned. That's, just that's stay just with him. Okay. Of. Go in there, Rhett, and set up the network Getting executive sick. scene and tell the actors we're about to start. I'll tell Ralph to stall until you get out there. Just go. Great. Well, then maybe he should. Yeah. Uh, you guys can talk to a ne network executive. I think that's a good idea. I think because I think these guys have earned their television sets and they deserve them. Do with the director. We swallow all this stuff and then you okay. set up. The all right. Guy. You want to go talk to this uh, network guy with me? I want to go up with you. Yeah. We know this whole beat and it's planned out. And within about three seconds, the host goes. Oh, you won't eat it? Well, there happens to be a lawyer right upstairs, ready to talk to you about it. And Matt oh just bought it. So you're behind us. Before the break, Matt and the actors played a gross food eating game, where Matt had no idea that all the dishes were fake. The entire game was a setup to get Matt to negotiate with our actor playing a Spike TV executive. Hey guys. Hey Dave. How you doing? Ralph, how are you? Good man. Good to see you guys. Pleasure. David Matt, Matt, of course. Uh, David yeah. Decker. Yeah, David Decker, CBP, Spike TV. Nice development. Yeah, you. nice to see you. Pleasure. Yeah, I heard good things about you. Okay. On the thanks. show. So, what's up? We got a problem with the meal game you guys came up with. Go ahead. Listen, sit down, Matt. Sit down. It's okay. Okay. Go ahead. Sit down. So I came down to check things out. Seems like it was going well. Were you watching well. on the monitor? 
Yeah, yeah, your bee thing was hilarious. That bee suit was great. God, I love that. Oh, that was funny. yesterday? That was, that was my idea. Was that you? you? Like that? Yeah. That was great. That was really funny. funny. I think the crew, the the crew enjoyed it. I know yeah. that much. So what's up? We got a problem or what's a... Oh, I don't think it's really a, a problem, but some of the other members of the house were a little concerned that, you know, we, we start up this game with the rare delicatessens. Yeah, and right. You begin with, you know, things like testicles and eyeballs, right. you know, right. which completely understandable, armadillo tails. Right. However, I think they kind of feel um, a bit backdoored in that a lot of those other things are considered delicates or delicacies, whereas a canine feces wouldn't. I have to say, um, on my own behalf, I personally have no beef. I don't want to eat it, and I won't, but I don't think it's fair on your part. And it, it certainly isn't is Matt's fault, and I know that's not what you want f for the show either, so I thought I'd be kind of the, the bridge between you guys. And but we don't want to I'm sorry, Matt, one second. You're going to be the bridge and the go-between and tell me how I should run a television production? Is that what it is? No, that's not at all. You're dude. the host, right? So you're supposed to be hosting something. I'm on your that. side here. I'm trying to get things going again. Yeah, it too. looks like it. It feels like it. Whose idea was it to, to come up here and, uh, and have a chat with me? I think I might yeah. have suggested talking to someone. Yeah, I appreciate your suggestions from Ryan Seacrest wannabe. But the issue that I have is we're doing a reality show, okay? Right. I mean, you get that, right? This, I mean, this I, is- I get that. Matt, this is not summer camp. He knows it more than anybody. He's been you doing- know, I, are you, you, Stop, okay? I'm talking to Matt. I just appreciate you giving us the opportunity no, look, to look, it's to fine. You. Look, we want to work with you guys. Everybody's working together to try to make a great show. Technically, we can hold you guys in violation of your contract, okay? I don't want to go that route because you've been a good guy. Stop, stop a second. Please. Please don't put me in that, don't pigeonhole me like that. Okay. Don't, if you, in, if you want to hold me in violation of my contract, please feel free to do so. It's not where I'm going. Though. Okay, but that's that is what you said, and it I'm doesn't... I'm saying technically that's a route we... I'm trying to show you how I'm trying to work with you, okay? Okay. There's a lot going on. Look, all I'm saying to you is technically we could do that. We're not going to go that route. Here's what I'm going to do. What we have to do is then we have to come up with some alternative that they haven't seen on television before, okay? I need something else that is outrageous. Okay? I have to say, you know, I just have to be honest with you. Okay. You bringing up the fact about violation just infuriates me inside. It really does. I'm not doing that. You don't have to mention it to the cast. We're not going to go there. We're not going to go to I'm a saying place. go there. If We're you're no. going to bring it up, We're not gonna go, go to a do place. it. Don't, don't, like, I'm a guy from Pittsburgh. I'll go back. If you want to hold me in violation of my contract, but like that is not the way to set up a nice rapport between us. All right, are you willing to, you're not willing to forfeit everybody's television sets though, come on. I'm willing right. to forfeit everybody's television sets. I said that, I, if I don't eat the dog feces, then then they don't get the TVs. But I hear you. It, 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 hey, I don't want to get off the wrong foot with you. I'm trying to work it out. You know, I will walk down there and uh -huh. eat a piece of that if, you know, if you really want me to. That's is that good. what you want? I mean. No, what I want is ratings. That's what I want is ratings. I understand okay? that. All right, so let's be creative. Let's sit here and think for a second. Okay, what can we do? I need something visual, okay? Those women are very attractive. They're hot, Ashley, and what's the other one? Uh, Molly. Yeah. Um, why don't you get the women to go topless? We'll just get a quick shot. Boom. You don't have to eat dog shit. I can't speak on their behalf, but I will speak to them. I don't think they're, they would go for that. I'll talk to them. You don't think they're going to go topless? I mean, you would know better in front of everybody. I, I, I don't see show. why they wouldn't give it a chance. So listen, go talk to the women, see if they'll take their tops off, OK? OK. So would you set up for something right? else? Come back, just come back. Just, what what, if, come back what if they don't go with the topless? Can we, can, is there anything else that would make you happy? Then I really don't think you got a shot. Then come up with something. Thank you for the opportunity. Wait, hold on a second, hold on a second. Don't you think we have a better shot of them just kissing than we do them taking their clothes off? I don't think either of them is going to go for nudity in this situation. If we can just get them it's to kiss, no it's one's two girls. See it. I don't see what the big deal is. Everyone in the room see it. That's why we're going to do it, man. Everyone, it. everyone in the house would see it. I don't think they're going to go for you guys seeing it. Even, even me or the rest of the crew. I don't think they're going to go for it. What if we just say, if, if the hub of two girls, we get two if girls they to kiss. kiss, we'll do that. All right, good. One more thing. Can I, I talk to you for one more second? Sure. Not, no, uh, Matt, 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 no, Matt. No, sir. Not you. I'll bite you out here, Matt. Put on your bee suit again or something. Good. Hang on a second. <laughs> I need you to go down there and convince them to kiss. All right. If they won't do topless and see if they'll kiss. That's what's going to sell this thing, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry about Ralph, okay? Part of the reason I went to the violation part of this thing. That goes you, way, that goes way, this guy, I know that this goes guy, way deep. You don't have to explain. Ralph has been a series of problems. I'll be honest with you, the guy was not our first choice, but, you know, in TV, you make do with what you got, okay? okay. 
I'm counting on you. I want you to have a good time, okay? okay. Matt threw us a curve that we weren't ready for. And have fun. All right, bud. We Bye. thought, well, he's going to say, no, the girls can't go topless. But instead, he said, okay, I'll go make him go topless. And Ralph was able to bring it around to say, well, let's come up with two ideas. What was that on about? Nah, he was just telling me about the intricacies of television. My name didn't come up at all, did That was the first time that I was ever able to use, really, any knowledge from law school whatsoever. Guys, we had a conversation with uh, one of the executives of Spike TV, the network. Worked out a uh, compromise with Matt. Matt wanted to talk to you guys alone about it, so I'm just going to leave and let you guys work it out. What's up? OK, listen. Obviously, our whole reason for being here <laughs> goes much deeper than people wanting this nine of us to have a good time. They want ratings, you know? And we have two choices. Now, unfortunately, in our male-dominated society, the choices do not involve the two of us or the two of us. But it, it should involve you. Trust me, this goes so much farther and much beyond us than we even realize, OK? The choices are either you two go topless or you two kiss. Going topless is not a bad thing. Hutch, it's shut. a sensitive situation. I understand that. It. But it's it. Are these yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I'm that not cool. going topless. Well, you guys can kiss. Can you what kiss? What about a quick kiss? No, no. You know what? I think it's no, so ridiculous. Perfect. I have a lot of friends that are lesbians, and they're very nice people. Right, you know? but and they I, kiss each other all but the time. I'm not a lesbian. Yeah. Can I just say on that note? Look, you guys, your decision is your decision, totally. and it's up to you. But along oh, no. those lines. It's you have put your hand on in Tani's inner thigh, on Tani's breast. Right. You inner know, thigh. we've done a lot worse than you two kissing, I think. For sure. Have you ever kissed another guy? If they want me to kiss one of these guys. Well, then let's see if they'll change. I would you better watch what you that. say. Because I would kiss anybody at this table for a 42 inch. Well, that's not going to bring in the ratings. I just think that this is sleazy. I think that it's of dirty. Course. I think it's dirty. TV. Welcome to the television. Girls, it's your decision. We could be watching this kiss on a 42-inch television. Will you stop it? Just stop. You know what? They did it last on purpose because they knew they wanted to what milk all of us eating that stuff, and they knew that... They... I don't want to be the one responsible for it. Guys, I'm sorry. This is not my idea. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but they're asking for a decision right away. Can I have, around. like, give Molly and I a second? We haven't even had one second to talk. Oh, yeah. I just want to talk to her for a second. Everybody I'm else sure that'll be talking. fine. Like I said, this is not on me. This is the network asking Molly, for, you for a decision. I don't want to be the one held responsible for everybody not getting their TVs. I know that. Well, I can tell you I certainly don't want to kiss you. Well, I don't want to kiss you either. I don't even like you. Take one for the team, girls. Fine. Stand up. Thank you. <sighs> Dear God. Awesome. Make sure you get this shit. Don't just peck either, because they just might. Just. Okay. Close your eyes. <sighs> Ashley stood Molly up and, um, Gave her a big kiss, and I thought it was unreal, unfreaking believable. Okay, you get to see these now. They're happy in the booth. Thank you. Everyone Thank has you. just won Thank a 42 inch flat screen television. Yeah. Yeah. I think Matt actually wanted to see them both topless and kissing. Matt and I were teamed up, and the plan was to have Matt and I win double immunity. In today's Lord of the Manor Immunity Showdown, two of you will win immunity. That's very important to remember because two of you unfortunate souls will say goodbye to the lap of luxury. And here to help us out are our old friends, Jamie, Kristen, and them. I'm gonna round of yes. applause for the girls. Ladies. We're basically cannonballing into the pool to read these um, clues off of the uh, models, chests. 
The words on the front of each model complete a phrase, king of blank. The words on their backs complete the phrase, queen of blank. Your job is to figure out what celebrity we're referring to. To do that, we've paired you up into teams. One of you will cannonball into the pool, soaking the model's shirt to reveal the king clue. Once your team guesses the king celebrity correctly, a second member of the team must then cannonball into the pool to reveal the queen clue on the back. All right, everyone, let's get wet. Yeah, ready? let's do this. I realized that it was for double immunity, so that if I won, Hutch would win as well. But nights when I have the robe are so much better for me because I'm able to eat. So all that had to happen was that Matt and I will go first and we would set the time. And everyone else just had to take a little bit longer and lose the game so we could have double immunity. Ready, set, jump! Woo! Nothing! Oh, not much! Not Nothing at all! You gotta go again, Matt! Well, much to my chagrin, I jumped once and I swear she didn't have a drop of water on her. Nice! Nice! Oh. Matt's, I guess, a little out of shape. I was thinking his size would really get us through that, but he's going like one time, two times, three times. He's going like five times. He's out of breath. I'm like, dude, we're gonna have like a six minute time and we're gonna have to have all the other people behind us have to pretend like they can't cannonball well. Oh my God, he's tired. Let's go, man. You got it, you got uh, it. One, one more. more. I was almost about to vomit. That's how difficult it was for me. Come on, man, you can do it, Let's go, Find, it. Find it deep inside. That'll nice. do it. Nice. Their boobs are pulling Media. Up. I'm, Howard Stern. You're right, Matt. You're right. Yeah. Well, finally, the hutch went and came through in a major way. Jump. Hutch. Come on, hush. Come on, hush. Oh, can you read that one? Remember, it's Queen of Blank. Pop, Queen pop. of Blank. Queen of Pop. Queen of Pop. You want to make a Britney guess? Spears. Britney Spears. Britney Spears is correct. Oh, oh my God. Well done. Well done. They answered the uh, the puzzles. Uh, fuck it. Let's just start again. More applause. Yeah. yeah. Woo. Matt took longer than expected, so now the actors have to stall for time in order to stick to the plan. All right, our first team of Hutch and Matt, they completed the task in two minutes and 44 seconds. Both puzzles, okay? So that's the time to beat. Molly, are you ready? Ready. All right, on my mark. A little applause for Molly, a little support. Woo, ready, set, go. Whoa! Not bad, not bad. Good job, but not a lot of water. And not bad, not bad. Don't need to embark, embark already. Molly was jumping and jumping and jumping. Don't Yeah, yeah. Let's go, Molly. Come on, keep going. Right. And I looked down, and my whole triangle top was like over here. There's cameras right here, and I'm like, oh my gosh. Use your boobs to splash. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Woo! Oh, that was yeah. a good one. That was a good one. Late, late, late night. Late night. Who is that? Okay, okay, that? okay. Um, Milton Burrow. No. Johnny Carson. Johnny Carson is right. Molly, I think because she, she was out of breath or she's blonde, not sure. She kind of like blurted out the right answer right away, which is what we told her like before. Okay, whatever you do, do not say Carson. Don't say it right away. Go through all of them and then say Carson, just to make sure that he wins. And as soon as it came out of my mouth, I'm going, shh. But, I mean, I couldn't really say, oh, I didn't mean that, I take that back. You ready? On my mark. Now, Kip is overcoming a giant obstacle here. He's scared of water. I'm gonna throw you in the freaking pool. Every opportunity. Don't even say that. I will, dude. You're not gonna throw me in the pool because I, I can't will. swim, so he don't. Can't swim. You can't threaten okay. me like this. Come on, Kip, you can do this. Come on, Come on jump. Kip. Come on! Come on, Go, Come on. Kip. Oh. Good try. You're right, you're floating. Kip, I am so sorry, dude. But you run, run <laughs> running hard. down that runway and kind of just rolling into the water was perhaps one of the funniest things I've ever seen. Just slowly Good try, Kip, you can do it again. Outside of Kip's magic show, uh, Kip's diving in the pool was the worst acting in the history of Hollywood. Come on, there you go. Good one. Hey, you got it a little bit. You go. get it? Breathe. Okay, I get it. One of the girls said something about, you know, 
what is that, fake? Is it stupid? And everybody's heart kind of jumped in our throats. Hey, no. You can't swim. Matt said that. Thank God. All right, Kip, you've already passed the time to beat. So you're so we're gonna let you come in now. But it would have been it would have been the queen of soul, Aretha Franklin. And that's all right, Kip. You did a great job. Come on in. Maybe we can pull him in with uh, with Jamie. The model thought it was funny that Kip couldn't swim, and uh, I think that's rude. Kip tried to hang on to her raft, and she tried to paddle away, but I just think that's mean to do to somebody. And Matt went on a tirade. Yeah. So, in the deep end. She's like trying to get away she from him. She doesn't know. Hang on. She can go fucking fuck herself. Give him a hand, so. Hutch. She's got it. She's not even good looking, so fuck her. It never ceased to amaze me how he kept sticking up for the what he viewed as the downtrodden. All right, the time to beat for you guys is two minutes and 44 seconds in order to get that immunity for both of you, OK? Let's go, let's go Ashley. You ready, You're Ashley? Ready, 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 set, jump. Nothing, you got nothing on that. I know what it is. Yeah. P.O.P. Yes, pop. yes, yes. That'd be the king of king flight. Of Michael Jackson. Michael yes. Jackson is correct, yeah. the king of pop. Well, Brian had to hand me his glasses before going, so that put them at a serious disadvantage. Yeah. Ready, set, jump. Go! Oh, huge! Oh, nice air. Ah. What's it say, what's it say? Can you read it from here? I can't see it. Walk, queen of oak. Ashley and Brian we were trying to make it as believable as possible. Um, but, you know, it did seem a little rigged. Wow. 240, 241, 242, 243, 244. Time, I'm sorry. Damn Oprah it. Winfrey, the queen of talk, oh of course. Oh, my gosh. Just as they were about to get it, it was 243. I mean, they were seconds away, 244, 245, game over. Immunity goes to Hutch and wow. Matt. Congratulations. You guys will have to share, of course, the immunity robe. Yes. You guys are Woo! safe from eviction this evening. However, out of the four remaining participants, two of you will be going home tonight. Keep that in mind, all right? We'll see you all at the Richest of Rags eviction ceremony later this evening. Good job, everybody. Next, double eviction with a shocking surprise. That's right, double trouble. You've all enjoyed living the good life in the lap of luxury. But for two of you, the vacation's over. That's right, double trouble. Two of you are about to say goodbye to high society and return to your sad existences of working for the man. You'll be joining Gina, Earl, and Dr. Pat. This is the richest of rags eviction ceremony. Each of you is represented here by your very own lap of luxury collector's plate. Even you, Hutch. Put yours back together. Appreciate it. But for the two of you who received the most eviction votes this evening, your plates will be cast into the fireplace and shattered. Before we get started, I've got a few questions for you. Ashley, mm -hmm. on a scale of one to 10, how good a kisser is Molly? <laughs> I don't know, Ralph. Why don't you tell us? Okay, it's time to vote.
Okay. I'll go collect the votes. I will now read the votes. Keep in mind that the two house guests with the most votes will be leaving this evening. <clears throat> Molly. Kip. Ashley. Molly. Kip. Oh. Kip and Molly. Molly with three votes. Kip with two. You have been cut off from the lap of luxury. Kip, let's start with you. Before you go from riches to rags, please serve me your plate and address the group. Well, I'm not living a loser, I don't think. I was thinking in my room, this is like a castle. Ashley, you are my queen. Molly, you are my princess. Brian, you are my court jester. Matt, you are my knight in shining armor. And Hodge, you are the dragon, which I send my armies out every day to try to vanquish. Thank you. Get. Break it, break it. <laughs> it's time. Mm. The house is voted. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Kip, you're dead to us. Snap, snap, snap. Another one that won't break. Mm. You can return to your spot. Molly, before you go from riches to rags, serve me your plate and address the group. So I just want you to know that I cherish every single day that I had with you guys. So thank you. Thank you, Molly. Why don't you just take this one with you? Thank you. Bye, y'all. I love you. I love you. Bye, guys. Have fun. Don't let him boss you around. Each of you now has a one in four chance of walking out of this mansion with $100,000. I suggest you all get a good night's sleep tonight. Have a good night. You too. Did you notice that kiss? What? Did you notice that kiss? She's just saying goodbye. Okay. I think you think the worst. Okay, you guys. Okay. No, I kind of see what you're saying. Oh, no. No, it's so interesting. It might have been a little bit long. Gina. It might have been a little bit. Believe me about Gina. You don't believe me about Molly. I roomed with both of them. Okay? I'm a girl. Y'all go listen to me. Did she bang Ralph? I know something happened. That made me sick when I saw them kiss. And Matt could not get over that Molly and Ralph were kissing. Which is just great to see him like really like take it in because, you know, that's the whole game. We know it's all fake, but he's really like dealing with it. Dude, what? that was crazy. I, I know. She the kiss was a little long, I agree with you. No, she not long, not. but a little open and soft. Might, too. Hey, maybe oh, she man. needed some oxygen. Was maybe he was giving jealous. her mouth to mouth. First of all, yeah? she didn't tell me the details. <laughs> see, I know you like mine. I don't know, dude. I don't I know the she full did details. Something to me. Um, what does that what? mean? Are she you ate. for real? I yeah. she, what did, like, what did what? she? Uh, no, no, I don't, I'm telling you. What was it, her brains? She, she's just so nice, and she's hot. You think she's that And nice? she's a virgin. She, to me, I only can judge to me. No, just remember, there's $100,000 on the table. A lot of people are nice, aren't they? Yeah. Just remember, I mean, just remember. Some shit's gonna go down. <laughs>